Okay. The moment of truth. Ooh, that's nice. A little bit. A little tight. Oh. This has a burr on this end. But... I'm quite happy with that. So there's multiple ways to be able to chamber this liner. Um, the last one I did, I put the liner in, chambered it in the barrel. This one, because it's a trap door, I think what I'm gonna do is chamber the liner and then I'll slide it in to the trapdoor receiver. So, uh, eh, we'll give it a try. I haven't done one like this before, but I think it'll work. Okay, so we have our liner dialed up in our headstock. We we're really careful not to over tighten these set screws. We There isn't a ton of metal there. We don't want to squish our liner. I've got my 3220 reamer, and this is a Dave Manson reamer holder, which is designed to float. It's designed to float to best align your pilot in with the bore. This is a fixed pilot reamer. Um, fits pretty good with this particular barrel. And uh, we'll just slowly uh, start to ream this barrel. We've got it squared up and we're all set to go. So I just wanted to go over a little bit, kind of one of these sweeps. Um, I clean all the chips off towards the front. You don't want the chips getting back in here and potentially binding up this area. And I keep a, a air close so I can blow any chips out that way. <clears throat> As it gets closer to the end, I may grab a uh, brush and a swab and uh, just clean out the bore as well. But make sure there's enough oil in there. I like to bring the reamer in until I feel it bottom out. Just gently, if you bring it in too hard, you can chip the reamer or you can put a mark in your chamber and then it'll chatter constantly. So once I have that depth, I zero out my little readout I have on my tailstock lock my tailstock, and I back it off about 20 thousandths of an inch before I start it up. Now once I start my lathe head, I'll slowly just barely feed in on my tailstock. If I feel any major resistance, I stop and clean the chips out. I don't take a set amount of uh, thousandths of an inch off with every turn. I just I go by feel. If I feel no chatter, no vibration, everything's moving nice, going slow, I'll keep cutting. But right now it's going about a tenth of an inch per cut. As you end up using more of your reamer, that usually decreases as you get towards the end of the chambering process. So we're all set to do another tenth of an inch, approximately.
So we ended up chambering this flush. And the reason I did that is because this barrel liner is going to sit flush where the 4570 case was rebated. So I didn't want to rebate the cartridge head into here because then I would come over, have a step up, and then back down into the next cartridge. So um, this one will have it so the barrel will come flush or wherever the headspace ends up, and then the cartridge will sit on top of it. Hope it was the right decision. We'll find out. Last thing I'm going to do is polish the chamber, and then we'll pull that liner out. A couple things of note when you're polishing a chamber. You want to make sure that you're not rounding the chamber out. So when you put your sandpaper in, this is pretty tight fitting, you'll want to make sure you're square up against the edge and that you don't run over that front shoulder. So we're going to start with 600 grit and then move up from there. Might need a little smaller dowel, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cinch this back up to the proper line before installing our liner. There. All right, our next steps are, one, I got to clean this off a bit, but I have a dummy round in here. It's a new one. And we're going to degrease both of these with uh, TCE degreaser, which is uh, electrical contact cleaner, actually. Works. You don't want anything that's going to leave an oil residue or else it won't bind properly. So we're going to degrease it and we will use... Uh, green uh, engine sleeve Loctite and we'll Loctite the barrel in. I'm going <clears> to <throat> lock the breech and Loctite it just like that. It should give me tight head spacing. If I need to afterwards I can take the breech plug off and I can open the head spacing up just a little bit if I feel like it's too tight. Um, that's uh that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. So we've cleaned these. That's why we got our gloves on. And we're just going to give it a, a blowout. Okay, I'm using Permatex sleeve retainer, the high temperature version. It's a 6400. 64,000, sorry. Um, I've used this before with excellent luck, excellent uh, results. We won't call it luck. So we're going to go ahead and use it again on this project. I've also used Brownell's uh, Acroglass, and that worked quite well too. 
Um, but uh, I like the Loctite a little bit better than the Acroglass. Although the Acroglass is nice because you can dye it black and it'll blend in nicely. But um, this can be blued without any issues. Uh, it's just, it's worked really well for me. So if I find something to work, I'm going to keep using it. I did rough this up with 120 grit paper. And this is already pretty rough. We've cleaned it with our TCE degreaser. And now we're going to put some of this, bah, it goes out quick. We're going to put some of this on here. and There is a little bit of a working time with this. Going to make a mess, but that's okay. Basically, once you get it on here and started, it isn't going to take long for it to spread around. So, twist it around a bit. Make sure you have a good coat. Put a little bead here. And she's already starting to. There we go. Now we're on our bolt face. So we know we have a tight head spacing because it's sitting right on the bolt face. Now we're only, as soon as this sets up enough so we can open the bolt up, we will. We don't want that stuff getting all in there. I'm going to put a little, little extra up here because it'll suck it down in. I'll see. It's already, it's already setting up. So... Now, I'm going to take my gloves off so I don't get the rest of this everywhere. Really, that quick, the stuff starts to work. So once you start messing around with this, you don't want to take too long. There we go. Head spacing built in. There's no uh, spring on the firing pin, so that wasn't a issue plus we took the primer out of the case but now what we want to do is get that case out of there before any extra uh, Loctite gets in there go now we let it sit 